Hello everybody and welcome to my Witchcraft Diaries tree special. Today we're looking at the last of the Oem trees, the mighty yew tree. So here I am in West Wickham in Buckinghamshire and I've just been on a walk um, outside the Hellfire Caves and found this gorgeous, gorgeous yew tree. Um, and in the Oem, the Ogham, the Oem, uh, Oyam, all the different ways of pronouncing it, um, the yew tree is, as I said, mentioned, it's the last one in the Oem alphabet. And that's because the yew is all about death, transformation and rebirth. It's an exceptionally powerful, powerful tree. So it will be the last in the Oem cycle, but it would lead the gateway to a new beginning, a transformation. Death is a very well-known uh, fact linked to the yew. Um, yews are found regu- usually found in graveyards. I'll come back to that in just a second. And also the berries of yews are highly, highly toxic and even fatal if consumed by people. So don't eat them, kids. It's not good for you. Um, so there is the death link with, um, with the yew. There's also a link with immortality. And that's the key here. This isn't just about death and endings. As they've been, been in the last few hundred years, been seen. It's also about life going on. Um, the idea that yous are immortal may not be quite true, but they do live for a flipping long time. Um, some yous in the UK are thought to be well over 2,000 years old. This goes back to BC. This goes a long, long way. They could even be older. So the fact is that we have that link that it's the oldest tree and therefore there's that link to immortality and ongoing life. So they're not just about death. They're about life going on and life continuing. Um, Back to the graveyard thing for just a second. So we find yews in graveyards and I've heard many tales that the yews are planted to stop the spirits from getting out. But, you know, in my witchy way um, the most likely thing to me is that most churches and all churches are built on previously sacred ground pagan ground druid ground um, and the ewes were there first and maybe a church or a churchyard was built around a previous yew grove and maybe that in pre-christian times the druids and the pagans before the celts they would bury their dead in a sacred yew grove because they believed the yew tree was not only gnarly and strong and a bit mystical, but also that the yew tree was immortal, therefore allowing the spirit of the person that was deceased to be reborn. So people often see yews as death and ooh, poisonous and a bit dark and in graveyards but there's so much more to them they're amazing amazing energies and the secrets of learning about death transformation and rebirth are the most perfect ones to learn at this time of year just past Samhain and in the OM calendar the U represents Samhain which is Halloween that gateway in the year between the worlds to the darker part of the year when we think that the veils between the worlds are at their thinnest. So that gateway between life and death, death and rebirth, transformation, to be represented at Samhain by the U, is exceptionally powerful magic indeed. So next time you do go for a walk in the woods and come upon a yew tree, spend little time with it, learn about its deep, deep secrets, but just don't eat the berries, I did tell you. Thank you for watching my little show about the yew tree. If you have any, if you, sorry, my jokes are wonderful. If you have any information or knowledge about the yew that you'd like to share with me and with the rest of the people that watch the channel, I'd love to hear it. Do um, write in the comments below or send a message. Um, if you'd like to watch more of my videos, please like, subscribe and do all the usual. And if you're interested in trees, there are going to be many more tree videos. I've already got one about the oak and there's more OM tree videos to come. So thank you very, very much. See you next time.